Hello and welcome to my next video. This video, okay, as I turn through the final videos I have left before my big surge after a little break, is the Boxing Librarian Hall of Fame Volume 15. Now there's one more of these to come in this collection of videos I'm just finishing off. More to come and more Hall of All Time Greats to come in the new surge of videos for the second half of the year. Um, so let us go through these final, uh, well, these current 10 I'm adding now. Okay, more to come later through the year. But on this 10, okay, first of all, okay, is one of the great Scottish fighters of all time, Benny Lynch. Um, and the Scottish Top 10 video is ready and will come in the new video, Surge. Um, but Benny Lynch, certainly in Scotland, amongst fighters like Ken Buchanan and a few others, is certainly one of the top dogs for me. Next, okay, is actually Zab Judah. Uh, Zab Judah did qualify for the Hall of Fame under criteria. Um, you know, that I use, he actually qualified, not by too much, but he qualified, um, Zab Judah, of course, is a multi-belt winning world champion in multiple weights, has a very busy resume, has a number of high profile defeats, also has a lot of good wins as well, um, so I think in a way, Zab Judah is one of those fighters who people don't really consider for the Hall of Fame, um, but I think he has a bit of an argument to get in there. And next, okay, is the Express, okay, Billy Patrol. Great combination puncher, great body puncher, tough guy. You know, down at Lightweight, Billy Patrol, one of those fighters who, if you got him on a good day, you had a real hard fight on your hands. You know, he did everything but become a world champion. You know, he's a Hall of Fame fighter. He was pound for pound rated. Um, he has a staggering resume, fighting many Hall of Famers, all-time greats, top contenders. You know, to me, Billy Patrol is one of those fighters who... You know, he's one of the great fighters to never win a world title um, without a shadow of a doubt. And certainly, if you check out his career video on my lightweight playlist, you will see why um, I hold Billy Patrol in high regard. Now, talking about another fighter I hold in high regard, okay, his former undisputed welterweight and middleweight world champion, lineal champion, uh, welterweight and middleweight for years, okay, and I mean years. Um, with only a few defeats in well over 100 fights, he's the excellent Tommy Ryan. Now, Tommy Ryan, okay, was a fantastic welterweight fighter. He was then also a fantastic middleweight fighter. Um, you know, some people say he'd beat no names, uh, but actually he did beat quite a lot of good names, actually. Um, you know, and certainly deserves credit, along with that long lineal reign, um, his success in title fights, his severe title fight winning record, um, the names he fought and beat, the very few defeats in over 100 fights. Uh, Tommy Ryan, certainly to me, um, is a very worthy member of my Hall of Fame. Now, the next fighter might be questionable to some, okay, and he's a bit questionable to me. And under the criteria, a bit like Judah, he's one of those who just scrapes through. But he does hold, like I've said before, a distinction with the great Sugar Ray Robinson. Yes, it's only a technical distinction um, with Robinson, but Manuel Medina is only the second fighter in history behind Sugar Ray Robinson to be a five-time champion in one weight division. He's a five-time featherweight champion. Now, Manuel Medina was a tough fighter, and Manuel Medina fought lots of rated fighters. If you check his video out on my featherweight playlist, you will see why. This guy was tough. He had a tough resume. Um, you know, he didn't make overly too many title defences, but he won titles five times, uh, as you can see him holding all his belts there. Um, and he had a very tough resume and was one of the tougher featherweights of his era. Next, of course, the mighty Sugar Ray Leonard, five-weight world champion, um, outstanding talent, Olympian, Pepsi sponsorships, you know, big fights, you know, just a great career. Now, to me, I don't rate Leonard as highly as some because his career is more punctuated by, you know, his flashy style, his clear fighting abilities, um, but also those big name wins, uh, Benitez, um, Duran, you know, Hearns, Hagler. Um, but when you go outside of that, there's some good fighters, but not too many top level fighters, as in what I would call, like, many top three rated fighters. His career is more defined by title success and the big key victories, which let's not undershadow are big victories. So Sugar Ray Leonard gets in and the next fighter joining is Luis Manuel Rodriguez, a fighter who I've said is very, very underrated. Fought dozens of fights against rated fighters. Was an undisputed welterweight champion at World, albeit for a short time. Fought a four-fight series with the great Emil Griffith. Was also a long-time 
um, top 10 middleweight and one of the toughest middleweight contenders. Um, to me, Luis Rodriguez, he scores in my top 100 fighters of all time um, and for good reason. Very, very underrated fighter, Luis Rodriguez. Now, next, okay, is another fighter who's underrated. Now, his career is strange because the first half to two-thirds of his career is super tough. Piles of quality opponents. His career weakens in the long run. But Gaspar Ortega, okay, a pound pounder, a top 10 and top 3 rated fighter, one of the toughest propositions of his time, staggering resume, Gaspar Ortega is also another fighter who qualifies for my Hall of Fame, as does the great Brazilian fighter Edda Jofra, who only had two defeats um, in his career. They were both to the excellent um, fighting Harada. Edda Jofra was a fantastic boxer, um, one of the great bantamweight champions of all time. Large title fight record, excellent winning rate in there. Um, just those two defeats to Harada, very worthy entry. And finally, one of the great lightweights of his era, to me criminally um, underrated, is Willie Joyce. Willie Joyce, again, like many of these fighters, had a staggering resume. He was regarded behind Montgomery, Bo Jack and Ike Williams as one of the top four greatest lightweights of his era. Just not as highly rated as those three guys, but fully deserves to be in. There's my latest top ten. More videos coming over coming days. I'm the Boxing Librarian. I'm out.